A user suggested this video um, about what the difference is between fourth axis and four, three axis and four axis, and I guess why I'd want to do, you know, why why I would get it. So uh, this is your regular three axis vise. Um, you mount your piece in here. You can get to the top of the part, and you can get to the profile of the part, you know, down until you get to the top of the, the vise. Um, so usually, if you've got a part. You, you know it's sticking up above the jaws as much as you need or more than you need you profile it down do the top get as much of that work done as you can then you will flip it over either using soft jaws if you need to or just hold it in a regular solid uh, jaws and deck the back off and if that's all you have um, hole wise and feature wise that's perfectly fine maybe you do a few features on the back some holes in the back um, then then that's great um, the problem comes into is if you need to put make features on this side or these sides um, basically you you're gonna have to go through multiple setups you'll have to do you know your profile and get it as much to shape as you can and your top surfaces um, if you've got anything that's got a sharp corner on this surface you're not going to be able to radius in there um, with your end mill so you'll have to flip it up on this end and come in this way and, and, and cut you know square corners and stuff and if you need holes on this side so you got one set up to do most of your work you flip it over you do whatever work you need to do on this side if there's holes on the other side you flip it over the other way you do those and then if there's end holes or features that need to be done you'd have to do additional setups for that that's standard three axis stuff um, most jobs I I'd say most jobs I can do in in this um, e even if I have to flip them over um, you know once or twice that's how I've done most of most of my work um, the fourth axis alone basically allows you to rotate parts you can mount parts directly to this face and, and rotate them or use cylindrical uh, objects and you know do features around them or flats or you know whatever you need to do drill on different you know different sides of parts um, but once you add a fixture like this and a vise then that allows you to be able to access the top and profile around just like you would over here but it also lets you rotate up and get access to this side and rotate the other way and get access to this side um, one thing i forgot to mention over here well we'll get to that and you can also rotate it at any given angle so if you've got you know weird angles you need to put in or get access to something at a weird angle like this um, you can do that as well Whereas over on, on the regular three axis setup, you basically would have to put some kind of, um, you know, angles in there and, you know, you move your material to the angle you want to cut. And that's fine and all, but if you've got a complex part, every time you move that part or do a new setup and probe in, there's a chance for it to be a little bit off. Um, whereas when you start here and you cut into this block, and then you rotate and you cut into this side and you rotate and you cut into that side then everything's you know there, there's no change there's been the part hasn't been moved back and forth it's only been rotated on the axis you know the center of so you know you can do all all the features you want and not have to worry about um you know reprobing in or, or you know every time you do a setup it, it being off a little bit or not being flat in in the vice anymore if something gets caught under there it just eliminates problems like that and allows you to get access to more things. Um, this side and this side, I can only get access to by you know regular profiling in, um, but so that's kind of a drawback now. Um, Chip from More Side uh, Fixtures, the one the guy I got this from, um, is working on something for me. It's a trunnion type table where this vice will be able to rotate at least 90 degrees. I'm not sure if it's going to have you know 45 degrees or whatever but at least 90 degrees so then I can go ahead and rotate this part 90 degrees say clockwise and then I'll be able to rotate it up on end and catch any any features that may be over here and again rotate it and get to any features over here so it'll let me complete most of the part it's not true fifth axis because um, it doesn't have simultaneous movement um, but it'll allow me to get to uh, most of the part without having to take it out and without too many headaches. And um, so that's the main differences and that's the main reasons why, um, you know, we went ahead and made the investment into this, uh, into this equipment. 
Um, if you have any other questions or suggestions, um, let me know. I'd be happy to make a video. Thanks for watching.